G'day folks, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we're doing a comparison video between the Oppo Reno 4 and the Oppo Reno 4Z, both 5G phones from Oppo. So without further ado, let's get stuck into the video. Let's go. All right, here are the two Oppo phones. And if you ask me, I think they look amazing. Two really, really good looking smartphones here. Both got their little pieces of market that they're after. And I think uh, have some valid differences and the differences might be good or bad for you. So we're gonna check out which one is better. Now, I just gave these both of these a polish before I started and let's see how long it takes to get these all smudged up with the mega fingerprint situation. Face down, unlock. One of the things I'll just quickly point out is that both of these just updated to Color OS version 11. Awesome stuff, lots of new features, and I'll do a separate video on those. Now, just let me point out to start with the displays, because they're the two things facing us right now, and obviously they're gonna be different displays. Oppo Reno 4Z on the left, Oppo Reno 4 on the right here. Oppo Reno 4Z is a bigger phone. It has a bigger display. It is 6.5 inches, and the Oppo Reno 4 comes in at 6.4 inches. That's not the only differences. We've also got AMOLED on the Oppo Reno 4 and LCD on the Oppo Reno 4Z. And it's hard to tell the difference. However, where you can tell the difference is in the refresh rate. So on the Oppo Reno 4Z, we actually have 120 hertz refresh rate. And on the AMOLED Oppo Reno 4, we're coming in at a 60 hertz refresh rate. And for me, someone said to me, can you really tell the difference? And I, for me, I can definitely tell the difference. And I don't know if the camera will do it justice, but I'm just gonna, can you see a difference? For me, the Reno 4Z is definitely smoother and more buttery in your day-to-day -day scrolling and usage, and also a little bit in the gaming as well. And they're both actually 1080p displays, so worth noting. And something else that might surprise you is that they both come in with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. So that means, in theory, they should be able to hold roughly the same amount of apps in the background as each other. And for me, multitasking has not been a problem on either one of these. They both you know, they hold enough memory in the background to multitask. Um, if you're gonna leave something in the background for 20 minutes, it's probably gonna be gone. But for just general multitasking, say switching between a, a notes app and a Gmail, you know, where you're copying and pasting and that sort of thing, you're gonna be able to do just fine. Now I can really tell the difference between the AMOLED and the LCD display. Can you tell the difference? To me, the LCD definitely has darker blacks and looks a lot different to the AMOLED. Everyone says that AMOLED's better, but maybe maybe it's not for some people. Anyway, I got distracted there. We're going in to look at about phone, about phone. Color OS version 11 on both of them, Android version 11. Yay, go Oppo. Eight gigs of RAM. And the processor here, it says octa-core, but it's actually a MediaTek. So the Oppo Reno 4Z has a MediaTek and it is a MediaTek 6873. And then on the Oppo Reno 4, you actually have a Snapdragon 765G. The difference should be noticeable that the 765G should perform a little bit better especially when it comes to battery management. That's also debatable, depending on what you do with your phone. All right, now let's have a look at the cameras. Look how grubby they got straight away. Fingerprint magnets. Every phone is a fingerprint magnet these days, except probably my Pixel 3, which has got that sort of matte sort of finish to it. It doesn't get really fingerprinty, but on the back, your main shooter on both of them is a 48 megapixel shooter. Then on the Oppo Reno 4 and 4Z, you also have eight megapixel wide angle lenses and a two megapixel depth sensor. And you also have a two megapixel macro lens on the back of the Reno 4Z. So the cheaper one comes in with the extra lens, which is pretty, 
Interesting, both of the 8 megapixel ultra wide lenses come in at 119 degree field of view and they both come with 10 times digital zoom, 4K 30 frames per second and 1080p 60 frames per second. Now on the Oppo Reno 4, on the differences here, I'm gonna say that on the front of the Oppo Reno 4, you've got a 32 megapixel selfie camera and on the Oppo Reno 4Z, you have a 16 megapixel selfie camera and they both come in with two megapixel depth sensors in there as well. Can you see that? And both front video cameras come in at 1080p, 30 frames per second, and that starts to look a bit spotchy on both of them, and that's just what you get within this price range. Now, I think it's also worth pointing out that these batteries are different sizes. So in the Oppo Reno 4Z, you have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, and in the Oppo Reno 4, you have two 2,020 milliamp hour batteries. But they don't tell everyone that. There's definitely a difference in the batteries here. And the 4Z has an 18 watt fast charging, and the Oppo Reno 4 comes in at 65 watt fast charging. So huge differences there as well. And you will need that VOOC fast charging to take advantage of those fast charging speeds. But let's not forget that you do get a charger in the box here, not like with Apple where you don't get nothing. So on the Oppo Reno 4, you can actually charge your phone from zero to full in 36 minutes. It's incredible how fast it is. And you, I mean, it's, this is just technology moving forwards. You will never ever have to go without battery power again when you can charge that quickly on the go. And these are both dual SIM 5G. So depending on your carrier, then you're going to get 5G or not. Me on Vodafone, no 5G, so I can't really compare them. And even if I did, it wouldn't be an overall review of their 5G capabilities because everyone is different and your coverage is different. But they both have 5G, so if you're in an area with amazing 5G, then you're going to get amazing 5G with these phones. Oppo Reno 4Z comes with a headphone jack, USB Type-C and a speaker there. And the Oppo Reno 4 comes with no headphone jack. Now, both of them do come with fingerprint scanners. However, the Oppo Reno 4 is in the display here. And the Oppo Reno 4Z, it's on the side there. And I have to be completely honest with you, the one on the side, it sucks balls. It's much better either on a display or on the back here, preferably on the back for all smartphones. But unfortunately here, we've got one in the display and one on the side. I reckon they should wrap that up neatly and put them both on the back for all future phones. But to be honest, the face unlock on both of these is incredibly fast and I don't think you'll if you use your face unlock, you will rarely get your finger to the fingerprint sensor. It will be quicker to use face unlock. It's just so fast. It's incredible how fast it is. Let's have a quick look at some size differences here. On the Oppo Reno 4Z, you have 8.1 millimeters of thickness compared to 7.8 on the Oppo Reno 4. Then on the Oppo Reno 4, you also have 159 millimeters in height and on the Oppo Reno 4Z, you have 163 millimeters in height. And the Oppo Reno 4 is 74 millimeters across and 75 on the Oppo Reno 4Z. So some slight differences. Which one would you choose? Does it come down to the price or does it come down to the features? For me, it's hard to say with these two phones because 599 for the 120 hertz refresh rate with the inferior charging, inferior camera, 799 for the better chipset, the better cameras, front and back, the VOOC super fast charging. So which one would you choose? I mean, it is really, really hard to say which one is better. And I think it's gonna come down to personal preference. For me, I always like a, a smaller phone. I don't care if my display is bigger, I want a smaller phone. Just because I'm busy all the time and I don't like sitting around using two hands to navigate a phone. I'd rather be out doing stuff and just using my phone quickly. Both of them have volume up and down on the left hand side and the power buttons on the right hand side. That's it guys, what do you wanna know about these two phones? Let me know in the comments down below. I will be going through some of the main features of ColorOS version 11, Android 11 on the Oppo phones. I love these phones, I reckon they're amazing and for the price, they're really, really good. Well, that's it, guys and girls. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your time. Hit the like button and the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next video. Check ya. My autofocus keeps playing up whenever...
I look down, it switches and focuses on on my fucking microphone stand. 